I am not making this video to argue with you or play I told you so or to be your mommy or to wag my finger in your face, but I am going to tell you this as a person who is a neuro non-typical who has brain injuries and probably multiple sclerosis if I could ever get a decent diagnosis, but who knows if that will ever happen. But I will tell you this. There are resources available to you. There's the Brain Injury Association. You've got one right there where you are. There's other research and support groups for people who are neuro non-typicals. You are a neuro non-typical. Your brain doesn't work the way the average, I'm not going to say normal, the average person's brain works. Your brain is normal for you, but it's not the average way it a brain works and you need to do some basic maintenance and some basic proactive stuff that will help prevent a situation like this from happening in the future do you know there are service dogs designed to alert in case of seizure and that you would qualify for one and could have one don't talk to me about the cat you guys could work it out but you could have a seizure alert dog the other thing is do you have a medical bracelet if you have such severe aphasia and memory loss that you can't remember your name or your doctor or where you live Kate you need to write that shit in a sharpie on your backpack or on the inside of the coat that you wear all the time or something so that people can find it on you. You got all those bracelets on your arms. One of them needs to be a medical bracelet and one of those rubbery bracelets you got could say, please see backpack for more info. Something like that. There are things you can do to take care of yourself that you are not doing because you don't know to do them. I tried to talk to you or tried to tell you some stuff about memory stuff that the Brain Injury Association could help you with. And you turned around and said, oh, my friends are helping me with Sudoku. Because your friends are big experts on neurology. I'm glad you have friends. I'm glad they are supportive of you. And I'm glad they're helping you. But they don't know what the fuck to do. You have to tell them how to help. And you don't know how to tell them because you're... I'm going to say it. If it was me, and you said it at the end of the video, you wish this wasn't true and it wasn't happening. Well, you know what? It's true and it's happening. And you have to take responsibility for it. You have to stop pretending that you are not a neuro non-typical. You have to grab it by the horns and take care of it. Like Anubis does with his, um, uh, his Asperger's. Like the rest of us do. Kate, you're smart. You're tough. You can learn to deal with this thing. It's just something life threw at you. And you can't pretend it away. So what's that shit you always say at the end of your videos? Something, something, something. Think. Well, you need to plan, girl. You know, you need to plan. You need to strategize. You need to be ready. Because you're right. What would have happened if that ambulance driver hadn't been there? Or if you had crapped out on a bus full of hinky people? Or something like that. You got to be ready. You got to know where to hide your money in your ID, in your shoe, or a special pocket you sew into your pants or something like that. There's things you need to do, and you're not doing them. So, yeah, I'm ragging your ass. I'm telling you what to do. I am wagging my finger in, in your face. But it's because I respect you and I care about you, and I don't want you to get fucked up. And there's some real simple stuff you can do so that won't happen. And the reason you're not looking at me is I'm in my jammies and lying down in bed. So I just turned on the microphone. I don't even know where the camera is. Goodbye. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself.